Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. We are going to go for a walk today in the beautiful sunshine. I'm trying to enjoy the weather, and before I have to go back to work soon, not happy about that. Um, but we are going to enjoy the day, and then maybe later we're going to go out and get the kids some things for their fall outfits because the little guy is growing like a weed, and Autumn has finally outgrown her shoes. So we're probably going to get her some new clothes as well. So come on with me. And I think we're going to have a stroller chat because there's been some things on my mind. <laughs> so here's the little guy who still has some pumpkin on his face. I just saw that. Did we have pumpkin this morning? I can't believe in five more days I have to go back to work. I am so torn up about this, guys. I am um, probably more so than I was even when after Autumn was born. Um, well, maybe not quite that much, but it's pretty close. So like this summer, I thought for sure that I was gonna have a rough summer being home with both kids. I was worried about you know, my ability to kind of handle it, um, to be honest, and the stress and the pressure of taking care of two kids that were, you know, very close in aid. And, you know, I was just, I didn't think that I would have as much fun as I did this summer. But, I mean, it is a lot of work, don't get me wrong. Every day, you're constantly on as a mom. Um, there's always something to do. But at least over the summer, I've been able to have fun with the kids. Um, I always feel like my bond with my children goes stronger. And I understand that I'm very lucky. I mean, a lot of moms don't get this time to spend with their kids. A lot of moms work, you know, sometimes two jobs or they work a job that, you know, is very late into the day. I've just achieved so much and relationships with family, friends, children, like they all grow stronger when you're actually there to, to spend time with people. Um, I mean, as moms, like we have very little time as it is, even if you're a stay at home mom, you know, time is fleeting because you take care of your children all day. You have little time for yourself. You have to try to maintain relationships, friendships, marriages, um, so things are a little stressful, but not nearly as much as they will be when I start up at work again. I'm not going to have as much time to vlog, which is really upsetting to me, actually. I, I am enjoying this so much that it's going to be really frustrating to me when I have to go back to work and I'm not going to be able to spend as much time creating videos or editing or uploading. So. I will still be here though, don't worry. I'm still going to make as many videos as I can. They just won't be a couple a week as I have been doing. Um, they might be, you know, like one a week. I'm hoping that I can still maintain that um, goal of uh, making a video at least once a week. So we'll see how it goes. Everything kind of has to change. Um, our routines are all going to have to change. The kids are going to be so upset. <laughs> I mean, Autumn is actually looking forward to going back to see her friends. She she loves seeing the other kids, the caretaker. But it's still not easy. You know, she's been sleeping in. She slept in until 8 o'clock this morning, and I was floored because normally she wakes up at like 7, 7.15 um, or so. So that's going to be a shock to her, her little system. Um, because for work, I get up at around 4.30 a.m. so that I can get both kids ready, dressed, fed, out the door um, before 6 a.m. I love my job. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm a teacher, so it's very frustrating and stressful. But at the same time, it's the most rewarding job that you can have, really. Either doesn't like you personally or doesn't like the subject. And then by the end of the year, you know, they're one of the more enthusiastic students in the class. I mean, that's the best feeling. 
that I have ever had, aside from having children. So, I do feel very lucky and, you know, blessed in that way. But, after becoming a mom, you know, it's still so hard even to do something that you love to do and spend time away from your kids. I've learned to be so efficient at everything I do. <laughs> you have to be. You have to evolve when you have a lot of stressors, um, whether they be good or bad in your life. And kids kind of force that change upon us. So if you're, if you don't, if you're like me, you don't have a lot of like outside help, you become very resourceful, very smart in how you do things and spend your time. Um, so I've been able to balance a lot of things, learn you know, how to make routines for myself, for the kids. And we've had really a good overall experience with, the, with all of this. So in that, I've been able to actually have time for myself, to plan time for myself at night when I'm not too exhausted. Uh, last night Rob and I were watching The Defenders on Netflix and it's really good don't get me wrong it's an excellent show but it was 10 30 and I was falling asleep watching it <laughs> because my day starts pretty early with um, Lachlan he he wakes me up at around um, 4 a.m. and sometimes he'll go back to sleep this morning and yesterday he did not yeah we have the playground you have to leave your bread here. You're gonna have to here. Put it in here so you can eat it later. Okay. You ready? Are you ready to play? Are you ready to play? Oh, it is wet. You want mommy to dry it off? Here. Autumn. Bring your bread over here, baby. Are you going to eat your bread here? Are you having fun? Yeah? Oops. <laughs> Working up an appetite? How are you, little man? Hello. Hello. Autumn, wait for Mommy. Autumn Rose, come back here. <laughs> Look at that cute little boy. Look at you, cute stuff. You've been such a good boy. Yeah. Yes, you are a good boy. I'm gonna get the baby. I'm gonna get the baby. I'm gonna get the baby. Yeah. What did you find, Autumn? Some flowers. Oh, it's beautiful. Did you pick that for mommy? Is it for you or for mommy? Mommy. Aww, that's so cute. It's beautiful, thank you. Are you ready to go home? <clears throat> I know. But Lachlan's awake. See? He is ready. Ready for some fun. <laughs> Aren't you? Aww. You trying to give the flower to Lachlan? He can't have it yet. He's still too little. Mm -hmm. You can keep it. Are you ready to go home? Mm -hmm. Do you want to bring it with us? Mm -hmm. Okay. You ready to go? You eat your raisin bread? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was short-lived. We have to leave the playground now, unfortunately. Um, because a little somebody, I'm not going to mention any names, uh, decided not to be sleepy during this time when we play on the playground. Um, normally, I've been very lucky actually, he will fall asleep and stay asleep while Autumn is playing on the playground for, you know, like 15 minutes or so. But today he started falling asleep and then he just decided, you know what, I'm just going to wake myself up. But Autumn just gets a little sad because Usually when we take this walk, she just loves playing on the playground. Is that right? Is that your side of the story? Is that your side of the story, little man? <laughs> you can't blame him, though. Look how cute he is. You got tea first coming in? Do you? So another reason that I will be kind of sad to go back to work 
is that I've been spending a lot of time with my grandmother. So my grandmother is 87. One of the reasons why I live there with her still is because it's getting harder for her to do things on her own. And honestly, she's afraid to be by herself. Um, if any of you have older grandparents or you know family members, you know that once they get older and if they don't have you know a significant other, they start to kind of worry about being alone. Um, so my grandmother actually raised me since I was you know a baby, and I'm like her daughter. So you know I love her like my my own mother, and. Um, it's really difficult to watch her age. So I've been actually able to spend more time with her, to help her out a lot with housework over the summer, um, just to talk to her or to hear her venting about things that make her upset. Um, honestly, a lot of things make her upset. She's one of those people that needs to have everything a very particular way, which I think is, characteristic of older people in general, but especially with my grandmother. <laughs> um, so she's very independent, strong lady, and a strong personality, so it can be difficult to get along with her all the time. Sorry, I'm completely out of breath. This is a big hill. Um, look who fell asleep now. As long as I keep moving, he's okay. So, by the way, my grandmother is the sweetest person. She's just a very strong, independent lady who doesn't take any crap, basically. But she's done so much for me. Like, if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be where I am. So, I think I've talked enough for this part of the vlog. So, we're just gonna go home, um, get, you know, Autumn down for a nap little guy looks like he's already passed out and um, I'll probably just relax for the afternoon until Autumn gets up from her nap and then we will have lunch and probably go to Carter's a little bit later so I will see you then